Well, looks good outside. I'm gonna charge up a few packs. I'll go rip. Oh yeah. And of course now, like usual, it's too late and it's raining. Ugh, I've got to discharge my lipos. So like most of the times I want to fly, I usually run out of time or the weather goes, goes south on me. And usually got a bunch of these guys laying around that, well, we all know they shouldn't stay charged. It's, uh, it's not good for the cells and it's, it's a bit of a safety hazard. So, I usually discharge my packs, and uh, I've been discharging them with my, uh, my ISDT, this little guy here for, I don't know, uh, about six months now, and it works, it does the job. It's really, really slow, and it seems super inefficient. So when I saw this guy hit the market, I pre-ordered one, and uh, it came in today, so I'm going to give it a could once over and put it through a uh, test. So this is the uh, ISDT FD100 Smart Discharger and uh, it claims it'll uh, discharge uh, 2S up to 8S uh, and up to 6 amps. I believe it's an 80 watt uh, discharging unit. So let's, uh, let's get inside and see what we got. Uh, yep, we got a manual. I'm not really going to read that. Uh, bunch of stickers. Everybody loves stickers. And there it is. Uh, some weird little foam pieces. I don't really care about those. And then we got the meat end of it. Look at that. Man, this thing is this thing is serious. You could you could knock somebody out with this thing. A big fan on it. It's a XT60. It doesn't look like it's got the battery to go pin on it like a lot of the ISDT stuff coming out has. Um, yeah, this thing is this thing is solid. I'd say it probably weighs about a pound. Uh, well, let's get to the manual see what it says here. Uh, 80 watts maximum discharging rate. Uh, battery types it supports is uh, LiPo, LiPo high, vol uh, high voltage, a LiFi, Lithium ion. It's got a beeper on it. And it says uh, default char discharge voltage is 3.8 volts per cell. And it can be modified through PC software, which I couldn't find anywhere. I don't know if it's just too early for them to have it out. The ISDT Q6 Pro, the T8 Smart Charger, has an adjustable range of 3.3 volts to 4 volts per cell. Hmm. All right, well, that's pretty neat. Well, how about we have a shoot off? This guy versus this guy. I mean, I know this one clearly is going to win, but how much faster is that than this one? And of course, we could just use math, but I'm not good at that, and this is uh, this would be more fun. So uh, yeah, let's let's get them both going here. Okay, I've got the uh, the lipo hooked up to my, my old trusty ISDT smart charger. These are both a couple crappy little Zop Power 15 uh, milliamp hour batteries, uh, 45C. These things, you know, they're not they're not terrible. They're good enough to get you going, but uh, yeah, once you start improving these guys. Mm -hmm. Not so great. All right, so um, one thing about the discharger it doesn't have a, a balance port on it, so it doesn't it doesn't balance your it doesn't balance your cells, but well, neither does your quadcopter. So we'll see what it does. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and 
plug this guy in here. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see, let's pick 4S, and why not give it all five, six amps? Oh, it's already started. Let's get this guy going. Max this thing out, see what happens. Okay. And go. Looks like the pack on the FD100, yeah, looks like it had a little bit more of a charge in it than the one on the ISDT, so. I'll give it a bit of an advantage. Uh, you can hear the fans on. Um, it's a pretty loud fan, and, and it uh, moves a lot of air. So that's going to really help with cooling, because this thing's basically a big hair dryer at this point. It's really starting to get kind of warm. Uh, there's no other readout on it, and uh, I wonder if the software would if it'd give you some more information about it while it's running. We'll just have to wait and see as far as that goes. Uh, the smart charger here is drawing 0.3 amps. It's pretty slow. And I know this does take a long time. And this will be faster. I'm just kind of curious how much faster. So we'll just let her go. See what it, uh, see what it does. All right, well, we're back, and uh, I knew the I knew the smart charger took a long time, but I never really timed it. About two hours and 45 minutes to discharge one 1,500 milliamp battery, as opposed to this one, which got it done in roughly 13 minutes is when it shut itself off. Uh, about nine minutes in is when it went to 3.8 volts per cell and it just kind of hovered around there I think till it cooled itself off in about 13 minutes it stopped and then beeped uh, about every five seconds till about 14 minutes and then it actually turned itself off completely so this thing is awesome no excuses not to discharge your packs make them last longer make them safer and uh, I guess the next trick, I'm going to shut this thing off, shut up. I guess the next trick is to see what I can do with a bunch of batteries on a balance board. Yeah. So anyways, um, if you like this and you like my videos, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, I have a link to this in the description below. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's the ISDT Smart Discharger, the FD100. Hopefully they uh, come out with a software suite for it for the PC soon. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, catch you next time.